Well, I got a, a big push broom f to uh, clean off my uh, walkways and stuff. And um, it had a couple of bolts in the handle that I had to shorten so it wouldn't scratch up the top of the van over here when I cleaned the snow off the top of the van. So I, I cut them off using, for the first time, my Harbor Freight bolt cutter that I got for $7.99 on sale. It cut off one of them just fine. The second one, the bolt cutter broke. So don't buy, uh, I guess I've heard a lot of bad things about Harbor Freight tools and I guess they're true. Damn crappy Harbor Freight Chinese garbage. There are certain things that is good at Harbor Freight, but bolt cutters aren't one of them. Let me show you what happened here. Well, here it is, the Harbor Freight 12-inch, uh, I believe it's the 12-inch bolt cutter. And uh, the, the points no longer come together, the blades, I should say. I can't get close with this camera, any closer than this because it'll be out of focus, but if you look right here, I'm going to try to zoom with the digital zoom, it's pretty crappy. You can see that. So I never trusted Chinese junky steel anyways. It's always brittle and used to uh, break. Years ago, chi uh, Japanese tools, uh, the, so the metal used to be so soft, but here the Chinese stuff uh, literally snaps. So we're bringing this back. I got the receipt. So when you think you got a good deal, nope. I have a larger bolt cutter that's made in Japan, uh, in China also, but I bought it at a place called Surplus Unlimited and to this day that still works very well. I had to finish cutting the bolt off using that one, which is a larger one than this, but this handled, it's a quarter inch soft steel bolt made in China. Chinese junk tools can't even cut their own bolts without breaking. So I'm going to bring this back when I, I'm in town again. Why well, I'm sure glad that I didn't spend any more money on any larger uh, tools like that. It's just not worth it. Little things like eye lopes and Small screwdrivers may be okay, but anything you got to put any force on at all is no good. Simple quarter 20 bolts. This is my larger one I got from a place called Surplus Unlimited. It's a local place around here um, that cut it just fine. Now it's, it's uh, like I say, a, a larger one, but it's also made in China. And I've had this for eight or nine years anyways. And this worked just fine. Even this little one, which is too small for a quarter 20, but I have used it to cut off um, these hard uh, sheetrock screws when I was doing uh, the overhangs. And they come down and I'd cut the uh, ends off. This, this is really good. And uh, it's too small to cut quarter 20 bolts, but that 12 inch, should have done it with no problem at all. And even though this is made in China, I did not get this from Harbor Freight either. So I'm leery of Harbor Freight tools now, just like everybody else. Another thing, I used this wrench set here twice already. Another thing is the 7 16 that's here. The end wrench part of the 7 16 fits a 7 16 bolt just perfectly. The box end will not. Well, here's a 7 16th. I'm sorry, I don't have my reading glasses on. All right. the uh, I don't know about the rest of these. I haven't used them. But the end uh, wrench fits the 7 16 bolt perfectly. The bolt head. The 7 16 box will not quite go over it. And this is that Husky set I told you I got for 20 bucks a while ago. So who knows, these things are made in China and the Chinese don't even know how to uh, make a wrench the proper size. It's ridiculous. 
So you're not really getting a, a good bargain. I tell you, when you, you find out, you think you get all those bargains here, and uh, you're not. You find out later, but you know when you're on a fixed income and very limited budget, well, you got to make do with what you can get and what you can afford. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give you an update on uh, the harbor freight junk. Take care, everybody. Have a good day.